It's generally agreed that your birthdays are supposed to be a time of celebrating, dining with family, carousing with friends, or passing time with your significant other. Sometimes, however, that's not the case, and the day when you're supposed to celebrate yourself becomes drab and melancholy, a reminder of another year passing by. This can be rough going, but luckily, we've got you covered with seven ways to beat the birthday blues. First, adjust your expectations. Planning a large party can be a lot of fun, but it can also be very taxing to see through, and you may end up not enjoying your own celebrations. A smaller event with just a few close friends helps to keep expectations manageable. If you let things unfold naturally, just getting together with people you like can be its own reward. Second, keep yourself busy. Shopping, going to the movies, or just catching the sunset can give you something to take your mind off the things that may be troubling you. Being passive makes it easier for negative thoughts to consume you, but by keeping moving, you can keep your focus on what the day means to you. Third, focus on what you've accomplished. Birthdays are milestones, so it's easy to look at them as signs of another year going by without living up to your goals. However, it's also possible to look back on a year in terms of the steps you've taken forward. Age isn't an expiration date, and a good life doesn't mean bad days will cease to exist. Remembering that this is one birthday out of many reminds you that there is always the potential to grow wiser, happier, and more accomplished with each coming year. 4. Make yourself responsible for your happiness. Receiving a birthday gift is a great thing, but depending on another person for validation can also be a little counterintuitive on what's supposed to be your day. Treat yourself as the order of the day. By learning to rely on yourself, you can make your birthday very special in a deeply fulfilling and personal way. Fifth, let your friends and family know how you feel. Sometimes the people close to you may not completely pick up on your specific situation, and that can make it seem like they don't care, when in fact they do. You shouldn't feel like you have to hide yourself from the people you value in your life. The people who matter won't mind helping to lift your spirits when you need it. Sixth, a little crying is okay. Sometimes a quick release is what you need, and if you've got to purge yourself of emotional toxins, there's no reason to hold back. Knowing that you've got the birthday blues doesn't make you less of a person, and acting on that can make not only for a better birthday, but a better year to come. Seventh, turn the sadness into a learning experience. You've established that you feel lonely on your birthday, but you've also seen some good ways to fight that loneliness and make it a good day. If you can reflect on the causes of your birthday blues and the solutions that you can put into play, there's good odds that you can find some way to learn from them and make your next birthday even more fulfilling and joyous. Feel free to like and subscribe with Psych2Go for more videos on mental health. If you've ever coped with birthday depression, tell us about it in the comments below, and feel free to check out the links in the description for articles on factors driving the issues behind birthday depression and on how to treat yourself when the time is right.